The Wuhan-originated coronavirus has caused a major upheaval in everyone's lives, including the lives of children who are unable to go to school due to the lockdown. Schools have come up with solution to continue teaching through online classes. Tibetan Children's Village, Ladakh, was leading other Tibetan schools in India in providing regular online classes in the initial period of the lockdown. Tash this is Sakina Bhatt and you are watching In Conversation with Tibet TV. Today we will discuss the effectiveness of the online courses and its challenges with the principal of Tibetan Children's Village School, Ladakh, Lundup Namgela. Lundup Lao, welcome to our show. Tash and Kungam Sang. Lundubla, firstly tell us how did the idea of doing online course come up? How did it all happen? Uh, of course, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, we are left with no other options but uh, to ensure that students do not uh, lose this uh, precious academic year. So we planned accordingly, but then uh, this lockdown is stretching uh, long, so uh, we have another problem that is uh, coverage of syllabus on time because many of our children will be appearing in the board examination in 2021. Uh, that is one uh, biggest problem. And second is, uh, unlike other TCV schools, uh, TCV school Ladakh has a very peculiar problem because uh, we are unable to hold uh, classes in the month of December and January because of extremely harsh climatic conditions. Other TCV uh, schools have plans to hold classes in the month of December and January and even in the month of February. And the next problem is, uh, of course, we have uh, given uh, sufficient study ma materials and homework uh, assignment for the children to study in their homes. But uh, honestly speaking, we are not exactly sure how these uh, assignments uh, will be effective. So taking all this into uh, consideration, uh, we thought of this uh, online teaching because that we think is one of the most effective way of making sure that the students continue to learn even in their homes. And the second is, as uh, saying goes in Tibetan, that tragedy or adversities in life should be utilized as a source of strength, no matter how difficult the situation may be, or how painful our experience may be. If we lose our hope, then that will be a, a real disaster. So taking that into consideration, we started this uh, online teaching. And for that, luckily, we have uh, some of the resources and manpower in place, for example, uh, our school have uh, very good uh, uh, multimedia facilities. And then uh, we have a young, energetic, and dedicated uh, teachers whom I can contact uh, at any hour of the day. And third, we are quite lucky uh, that in our settlement, uh, we have a local Tibetan a television network uh, run by Tibetan Settlement Cooperative Society, which is available to all the Tibetans in uh, Le region. And uh, the first uh, program we are able to relay through the cable network was uh, on the first day of the lockdown, complete the national lockdown that is on. 25th uh, March, and so far we are able to shoot more than 60 lessons, uh, mostly in the subject of mathematics and science for class 9 and 
10 students. And to on top of that, uh, we are also able to shoot uh, uh, video lessons for class 9 and 10 in the subject of mathematics and also for our young kids studying in uh, class 4 because uh, they are going to study English for the first time in their uh, life. So we are able to arrange uh, jolly phonic uh, English sound and Shortly, we are able to uh, show through the cable network and we'll be able to also do, uh, show through the YouTube and Facebook. You know that teaching a class filled with students is much convenient in terms of interaction. But when you are teaching online, you don't know how many students are watching, how many are being attentive. So can you tell us, being a teacher, how challenging is this initiation? Yes, uh, it's uh, quite different from the normal teaching, but uh, many of our students uh, know how to learn through online teaching. Uh, we have introduced them on academic, Khan academic, and uh, likewise some other uh, sources. So now this is uh, another way of uh, learning apart from uh, classroom teaching. And I think uh, due to uh, the improvement in the technology, this ultimately student has to do a lot of uh, self-study. Uh, not only the uh, spoon feeding, and that is why uh, this online teaching will be proved to be very useful for them. And second one is for the teachers also, the teachers can uh, review their lessons recorded in the online. And one of the most important thing is that uh, stu students can uh, learn and relearn again and again from the YouTube, the lessons that are being taught without uh, uh, consulting the schoolmates. Of course, uh, when there is a large number of uh, students in the classroom, a uh, student may be mischievous. But then, when they are on their own, they really do self-learning and uh, they take a, a self-responsibility. -re so therefore, I think uh, that will be a nice, of course, it's uh, challenging f for us as well as for these uh, children. There are many children who reside in uh, remote areas and have no access to proper internet. There may also be students and families who do not have laptops and mobile devices to participate. How do school teachers and parents coping with uh, such situations? How are they being reached out and what kinds of support are being generated to them? Yes, it's true that uh, many of our children are residing in remote area, but then the Places like uh, Hangle and uh, Nyuma areas of Jiangdeng do have internet facilities. And uh, the majority of our children are residing in lay areas, so therefore uh, it covers the uh, majority of our uh, children. And the second one is uh, we do uh, send regularly uh, the script, lesson scripts, and home assignment through our government officials and medical uh, personnel who are regularly visiting these uh, remote areas. So I don't think uh, it will be a major uh, challenge for us. And the second one is, uh, since we have the video recordings of the teachings, so when this, these children come back to our hostel, I think we can uh, plan and the lessons which they have missed. So that's uh, 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 one option for them. Most children while they are at home are sometimes asked by the parents to do some household chores. How should the parents be supportive in this matter so that children can learn without pressure? Unlike in the past, uh, the majority of the parents are educated and uh, attended uh, schools and to know the importance of educations. 
Uh, I found that many of the parents do send their children for tuition uh, during the winter vacation. So I don't think it will be a major problem. And then uh, in this hour of crisis, parents will put more attention towards the studies of, of their uh, children. So I don't think that will be a major issue. And then uh, for the uh, parents, uh, I think there is a need to set a timetable for doing, of course, doing a household course is very important. Parents must teach uh, these as a part of their life skill. And side by side, uh, uh, the education of the students should not be hampered. So therefore, parents must create a conducive learning atmosphere in their homes. How effective do you think this initiation is and what kind of responses are you getting so far? Uh, in this hour of crisis, I think uh, this is one of the most effective uh, method of preventing loss of uh, learning time for the uh, children. And uh, so far, uh, by looking at the response uh, that we get from the children, parents, and our well-wishers, even from our ex-principals and ex-staff across the globe, we're getting very positive uh, response, uh, letter of appreciation and encouragement. So that uh, I think our work is uh, being uh, going in a proper direction. And the second uh, uh, thing is uh, our uh, teachers have created uh, WhatsApp as study groups uh, with the uh, students so that uh, students can uh, directly interact uh, with the teachers and make this uh, program more interactive, more beneficial and successful. Apart from teaching the students, it is important for the school to provide trainings and professional development programs to the teachers. Have you undertaken any online programs aimed for the teachers? Uh, yes, uh, we do have arranged uh, such programs for teachers. Uh, firstly, after the closure of the schools and suspension of teaching, uh, but then uh, teachers regularly uh, come to the schools for preparing the home assignment for the children, uh, organizing orientation program for teachers on sea learning, uh, discussion of four principal commitments of His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama and uh, professional uh, development program for teachers, uh, some of the programs that we continued in the campus. But uh, due to the complete uh, lockdown announcement by the Honorable Prime Minister of uh, India, uh, now we started uh, this online training or discussions by uh, inviting experts uh, across India and through the live uh, chat, the experts are able to convey their expertise uh, to our teachers. And we also had a question hour uh, session which really proved beneficial to our teachers. Now, as many as uh, 120 uh, teachers from our school and uh, more than uh, 20 teachers from uh, sister schools of uh, TCV and some of the teachers who are working at various schools in Ladakh are able to join in this uh, session. So, and uh, by looking at the feedback from the teachers, I think this uh, program really proved to be beneficial. Thank you, Lundubla, for your time and for speaking to Tibet TV. Uh, lastly, I thank Tibet TV for giving me this uh, wonderful opportunity. May His Holiness, the 14th Dalai Lama, live long and continue to bless us. And may this pandemic subside soon. Thank you very much. Department of Education of Central Tibetan Administration has initiated 
online classes that go live on Tibet TV's Facebook and YouTube pages. Let's hear what the students have to say. I watch a Tibet online TV that is, is very good and also useful. Uh, subject like uh, Tibetan math science. So thank you. I watch Tibet TV's online classes and attend math and science classes and do homework by myself and ask questions at the comment section and the teacher also answer my questions and clear the doubts. It seems like attending the class in the school. I would like to thank my online teachers and it's very helpful for us. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next episode of In Conversation with Tibet TV.